Hi, Mom. Lorelai. Do I look shorter? Because I feel shorter. Why can't we have what you and Rory have? Uh, Rory and I are different, Mom. We're mother and daughter, you're mother and daughter. It shouldn't be that different. It's completely different. It couldn't be more different. But why? Lorelai, come back to the table. Is this what it's going to be like every Friday night? I come over and let the two of you attack me? You're being very dramatic. Very talented man, your father. She knows. He always was a smart one, that boy. You must take after him. Why would he bring up Christopher? Was that really necessary? He likes Christopher. Isn't that interesting? Because, as I remember, when Christopher got me pregnant, Dad didn't like him so much. I get it. I'm horrible. So, why don't you disown me and adopt Christopher? You love him. Don't be a martyr, Lorelei. Don't be naive. You think I love the boy who got my daughter pregnant? I wanted to kill him. I would have, too, with my bare hands. But there was a proper procedure to be followed in a situation like this. Marriage. Christopher was willing to follow the procedure we laid out. You weren't. Well, please, you were 16. What were we supposed to, throw you a party? We were disappointed. Don't forget such a bright future. Yes, and by not getting married, we got to keep those bright futures. What about what I wanted? Dad, didn't that matter to you at all? You wanted to control me. You were still a child. Oh, so I'm a villain now, is that it? I spent a fortune on this party. I spent days planning it, making sure that every little detail was perfect. The food, the linen, the music. And I did all this for Rory. Well, that's not what she needed, Mom. What she needs is for you to accept her apology and come to her party. That's what she needs. But you don't care what she needs. How dare you? You don't even know what she needs because you don't know her. You never tried to know her, just like you never knew me. Oh, I know you. Oh, please, you don't know anything about me. No, this is where we used to live. What? Right when Mom and I moved here, this was our apartment. See, we had our bed right over there, and Mom put up this really pretty curtain around the tub so that it looked like a real bathroom. Grandma? No? Can I help you? No, thank you. I just... Yes. I just wanted to meet the woman who helped raise my daughter. What's this? Oh, that's me, Mom. I know it's you. You're wearing a cast. Yeah, that's when I broke my leg. You broke your leg? Yeah, three years ago during a yoga class. Emily? She's right. I don't know my daughter at all. Is that everything that happened in the past is suddenly fine because I defended you? No. That the hell that you put your mother and me through for the past 16 years has suddenly washed away? Well, it's not. We've all been through hell, Dad. I had to tell my friends, my colleagues, that my only daughter, the brightest in her class, was pregnant and was leaving school. That must have been devastating. And then you run away and you treat us as lepers. Your mother couldn't get out of bed for a month. Did you know that? Did you? No. We did nothing to deserve that. Nothing to earn that. Sometimes home is where your heart is. Or where your family is. Yes, that too. When Laura and I showed up on my porch that day with the tiny baby in her arms, I thought to myself, what if this were my daughter? And she was cold and scared and needed a place to live. What would I want for her? And then I thought I'd want her to find somebody to take her in and make her safe and help her find her way. That's funny. I would have wanted her to find someone who would send her home. A mutual mistake, Richard. This whole evening is ridiculous. We're supposed to sit here like one big happy family and pretend that the damage that was done is over, gone? I don't care about how good a student you say that girl is. Hey, Our son was bound for Princeton. Every Hayden male attended Princeton, including myself, but it all stopped with Christopher. It's a humiliation we've had to live with every day, all because you seduced him into ruining his life. She had that baby, and she ended his future. Well, isn't this interesting? You're afraid. Of what? 
hope that Rory will enjoy the club and have a good time without you. We have to celebrate. Next week we will have a special dinner. Grandma, all of your dinners are special. Well, this one will be extra special. We'll make all your favorite foods. Why don't you care? Why have you never cared? No matter what has happened to me my entire life, you've never been happy for me, and that hurts. Mom, it really hurts. I'm not discussing this with you. Do you know how it felt for me to tell you that I was getting married, and to have you just brush it off like that? Do you know? No, I don't. I don't know. Possibly very similar to finding out from a complete stranger that my only daughter was getting married and had told every other person in the world before she bothered to tell her own mother. Possibly it felt something like that. Marie and I are best friends, Mom. We are best friends first and mother and daughter second. And you and I are mother and daughter always. I wasn't taught to be best friends with my daughter. I was taught to be a role model for my daughter that too. I did what I thought was right. I did what I thought I had to do to protect you and because of this we have no relationship. Mom, we have a relationship. We do? What? What is our relationship? Well, we... Exactly.